Ever find yourself staring at a calculator, your gut, and a crystal ball all at once trying to figure out how to price a website project? Well, buckle up kids, today we're demystifying the pricing puzzle, and I promise it'll be more fun than a kangaroo on a trampoline. So stay with me and I'll break down the three different pricing models you can use, the one that I prefer and the one that I suggest you use, and I'll give you the exact formula to make sure you're pricing your projects profitably. It's called the rule of thirds. More on that in a moment. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Well, I'll just charge what feels right or I'll match what the client can afford. Sound familiar? Well, that's like trying to play the guitar with a spoon. It might work, but it's not very good, is it? So allow me a few moments to explain why making up your pricing based on your gut and what you think the client can afford is the kind of shit that amateurs do and that it's time for you to be a grown up. Using your gut to price projects relies on instinct and subjective judgment to set prices often tailored to what's believed the client can pay. And since pricing in this situation is based on a feeling or an assumption, it can vary wildly from client to client, leading to inconsistency in revenue. A gut feeling may often lead to underestimating the true value of your service, leaving copious amounts of money on the table. Without a clear basis for pricing, clients may question the fairness or validity of what it is you're quoting them. And as your business grows, relying on intuition becomes unsustainable. New team members can't easily replicate your gut feelings, can they? So without considering your actual costs and desired profit margins, you might also end up charging too little to sustain or grow the business. And that's not what we want now, is it? On the flip side, overestimating what you think the client can afford might actually lead to lost opportunities, you greedy little punk. Tailoring prices to what clients can afford, especially if it means consistent undercharging, may diminish the perceived value of your services. Now, having an actual pricing framework gives you consistency, transparency, and scalability. A pricing framework is a structured method that takes into account various factors like costs, market rates, value provided, and, and I don't know, desired profit margins. A framework ensures that pricing is standardized regardless of the client putting you in control and making you more professional. Also, by considering all the relevant factors, a framework makes sure that you charge what your services are truly worth. Clearly defined pricing builds trust with the clients as they understand what they're paying for. And a well-defined framework can be replicated across the business, making sure you've got consistent pricing no matter which team member is talking to the client. By pricing according to a clear, logical method, clients will perceive your services as more valuable and professional. Having a framework also avoids the pitfalls of undercharging or overcharging by sticking to a well thought out process. All right, now having got all that out of the way, here are the three most common pricing models used in the web design and digital marketing agency space. Pricing model number one, charging an hourly fee. Charging an hourly fee involves setting a fixed rate for each hour of work invested into a project. Now, there are some advantages to charging an hourly rate. One, clients understand what they're paying for because the costs are directly tied to the hours worked and plus it's also easy to calculate the final price because hours can be tracked and multiplied by the hourly rate. Of course, the problem with charging an hourly rate is that your earnings are capped by the number of hours that you can physically work. And also, you're penalized for being really good at your job because faster completion means less revenue. It can also lead to some confusion with clients who don't understand how long things take, and obviously they just want you to get the job done faster because they're paying you by the hour. Overall, I'm not a fan of charging in hourly rates in any way, shape, or form. Let me make it perfectly clear. Stop charging by the hour because it is the fastest way to go broke and is a nightmare pricing model when it comes to managing client relationships. Pricing model number two is called value-based pricing. Now, value-based pricing focuses on the perceived or actual value that the service provides to the client rather than the cost or the hours required to produce it. A major benefit of value-based pricing is that the clients pay for the results and the benefits they receive and not the time invested. This is a fairer pricing model for everyone involved. It also allows you to make more revenue and more profit because if you deliver more value, well, you can charge accordingly. Now, a lot of digital agency gurus will be advocating that you charge on performance. In other words, you charge your client per lead or per appointment or per customer that you deliver for them. 
These are all variations of value-based pricing. I don't care what anyone says because the client is only paying you for the value you deliver. Value-based pricing also forces you to focus on providing maximum value, which usually results in greater client satisfaction and a better product. However, just as beauty is in the eye of the beholder, value is in the holder of the wallet. In other words, your idea of value is going to be different from your client's idea of value. If you don't assess the value correctly, you may actually end up undercharging. And believe me when I say it is almost impossible to agree on the value of anything with another human being. So, although value-based pricing surely beats the shit out of charging an hourly rate, it is still not my preferred pricing model. Which brings me to my preferred pricing model. Pricing for profit based on the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds approach divides the total charge of a project into three parts. One third for cost of goods sold, otherwise known as COGS, otherwise known as direct costs. This covers the direct costs of producing the service. One third for operating expenses. This portion addresses the business general operating costs and one third for net profit. This final third is the profit that goes into growing the business or as a reward to the business owner. Now, it doesn't have to be exactly 33.3% for each of these categories. Sometimes the numbers can kind of slide around either way on that scale, but a third, a third, and a third is a good place to start. So wait, we're baking profit into our pricing strategy. What a genius idea. The rule of thirds is an easy to follow rule that makes sure all business aspects are covered. It encourages healthy profit margins, allowing you to actually grow your business. And this structured approach can be easily explained to clients without having to negotiate an hourly rate or try and agree on the perceived value of something. Now, if you go through the process of figuring out your direct costs and your operating expenses and pricing projects according to the rule of thirds, I guarantee you'll find that you've been undercharging up until now. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Well, increasing my prices might scare off my clients. Well, you know what's scarier for your clients? You going out of business and being unable to continue to support your clients because you didn't have a pricing framework and you ran out of cash. The fastest way to increase your pricing is to do better marketing and position yourself as a trusted advisor to the people in your niche. And that's a whole other conversation. Get really good at solving their problems and you'll discover that you can stop negotiating over how much shit costs. So here's the formula. Write down how much it costs you to deliver a project or a service to a client, how much it costs you to run the business while you're delivering that service, add those two numbers together, and then add half again for your profit. Confused? Excellent. You should really just book a call with our team and we'll figure it out for you. Okay, I'll walk you through it again. Let's pretend it costs you $2,500 to build a website for a client, and that cost is made up of your time at a fair hourly rate, and maybe another freelancer or another contractor helping you out, as well as any software licenses and hosting costs involved in building that project. Then let's pretend it takes you three weeks to deliver that project, and the ongoing costs of you running the business during that three-week period are $3,500, like electricity, rent, yes, even a portion of your home rent or your home mortgage if you work from home, any wages for staff who don't work on actual projects like admin assistants or operations managers, as well as any accounting and bookkeeping fees, legal costs, insurances, memberships, all that crap you buy at AppSumo and never use. And so now we have $2,500 in direct costs plus $3,500 in operating expenses. You add these two numbers together and you get $6,000. Divide that by two, gives you 3,000, add the 3,000 to the 6,000, and you need to charge $9,000 for this project for it to be profitable. From the $9,000, 2,500 goes to direct costs, leaving 6,500. 3,500 goes to OPEX, leaving 3,000 for net profit. So in this example, the 2,500 that went to direct costs is actually only 28% of the 9,000 revenue, a little less than a third. The 3,500 OPEX is 38% of the revenue, a little more than a third, but we've still got 34% net profit. So as I mentioned before, the rule of thirds can be a little bit flexible, but we're still in the ballpark. And most importantly, we're taking a third of that revenue out as net profit. It's okay. Look, I know this stuff's very confusing and it's fine. You're not meant to know how to do it. You're meant to be really good at doing stuff for your clients, which is why we're really good at this stuff. So you can just get on with doing the stuff that you're good at. So if you know this is important, but it's hurting your brain, just jump on a call with our team and let us set it up for you so you can be confident that you're pricing your projects profitably from now on. 
Hey, if you like this video, even if you don't, click the thumb that does that, subscribe and follow, and share this with someone you know who is just completely making up their pricing strategy and has no idea what they're doing. I'm Troy Dean, and remember, goldfish don't have stomachs.